Hello maths fans, let's look at bivariate data, scatter graphs, uh, on the graphical display calculator. Um, so, I'm going to be looking at data from uh, the Premier League 2021, and I'm going to find out what the link is, how strong a correlation there is between goals for and the points. So I'm going to enter this data uh, into my GDC, and I'm going to find out how much of a link there is between goals for the number of goals scored and the number of points gained over the whole season. Okay. Now to do that on my calculator, um, let's just adjust this and get the calculator there. I'm going to go first of all to the statistics part number two. Now I've already started putting the data in so you don't have to watch me put it all. But basically, you enter the one. So if I go to number 10, number 10 is Everton there. And they got 47 goals for. Press 47, press execute. And then I'll go with the arrow button across there to my second list. And I'll put in a uh, number of points. They got 59. 59, execute. Okay. So I've entered all my data in list one and list two. We've got the variable one and variable two there. Now what I want to do is I want to draw a graph. So I'm going to click graph one, F1 here. And when I click that, that's pretty good. I've already generated a scatter graph. Quick as that, enter your data. It plots the scatter graph for us. Now I can do a little bit more with that. But first of all, let's have a look. There's the data. I can definitely say that this has loosely, that's probably not a great line, somewhere around there though, it's definitely got a positive correlation. It's got a positive correlation. There is definitely a relationship between goals scored and the number of points gained. Okay? Doesn't look like there's any crazy data in there. I haven't got any outliers. I've got nothing up here or miles away from that line. So I'm pretty happy that this data is, is solid. And also, I know where I got it, so I can trust it. If there was a team there that got a thousand points, you know it's a misprint. Change, <laughs> ignore that bit of data, go and look up the data again. So, I've got my data, I trust it. Let's see what we can get the calculator to do now. I'm going to cl click Calc, F1 there, and then I'm going to press the X. So this is what we call linear regression, and we're going to go for A plus BX, either of these, but basically this is going to find loads of useful information. Now you can see it says linear reg A plus BX. So what's that telling us? The A and the B and the R we're going to go through today, what they're telling us. And basically, Y equals A plus BX, that's the equation of the straight line of the line of best fit. Now, mine is drawn with a red pen and it's probably not very good. What the calculator does is it finds the best mathematical fit for a line and then gives us that equation. So you can see here we've got A equals 22.6. So this is the line Y equals 22.6 plus B is 0 0.686 rather. 0 0.686 uh, X. So there you go, we've got the equation of a line of best fit there, and that's called linear regression. It gives us the equation of a line of best fit. So we can make predictions about how many points a team will get if they score so many goals using that equation. So it's pretty helpful. And we could see it, we could test that. Does that work going back a season, going back two seasons, three seasons? Does it change? So it's a very useful statistic, linear regression, finding the equation of a line of best fit. Brilliant. Then we're going to have a look at this R. Now R, we're told it's 0 0.835 something. What does that mean? Well, I need to teach you a little bit about this thing. Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. It's a bit of a mouthful which is why we, we write it as just R. Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. What is it? This tells us how strong the link is between two variables. 
tells us how strong a correlation there is between our two variables, our goals for and our points. Now, for all of these values, you end up with a value between negative 1 and positive 1. So you'll always see r is a number uh, between minus 1 and 1. Now, if it's minus 1, that is a perfect negative correlation. I'll try and explain what we mean by that. That means that every single point is not near the line, but it's exactly on it. You could draw a perfect straight line. Obviously, that isn't, but if every point is exactly on the line, this would be uh, a negative 1, an r of negative 1. If every single point could follow a perfect positive line. If, if my equation of my line of best fit could fit perfectly as a straight line, that is r equals 1. Okay? Now that is r equals 1, but also this one. If, as long as every single point is perfectly described by the line of best fit, it is um, a, a perfect positive correlation, okay? Those two both would have a Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient of 1. Same with the negative ones. It doesn't matter the gradient of that, as long as all the points fit perfectly on a line. Okay? Let's have a look at uh, a few more uh, examples. Um, so here we have the perfect positive correlation there. If you've got something like 0 0.95, 96, 97, that's a very strong correlation. All the points will be very close and in a positive way. When we get down to 0.9-ish, they start to spread out. You can see that. Between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8, okay, there's a positive correlation, but it's, it's much more spread out now. And then when we get into 0 0.5, 0 0.6, yeah, okay, there's a bit of a positive correlation, but it's pretty spread out. And anything less than that, visually, it's pretty hard to tell there's any correlation. So really, for strong um, positive correlations, we're looking for high numbers close to the 1, 0 0.9, 0 0.95. We're starting to see a strong positive correlation. And then the same on the negative. So r equals negative 1 is a perfect negative correlation. All of the values exactly on that line of best fit, the regression line. Okay? Um, this is how it's calculated. Uh, I've got good news. You can use a calculator to do this. But it's useful to know how this is done. Um, and basically, this is saying that all of your x values... So, so first of all, we calculate the mean of all the x values. So in our example, we add up all of the goals for, divide by how many there are, we find the mean number of goals scored. We find the mean number of points, or whatever our y value is. And then we find the difference of every observed value, the difference of every observed y value from the mean. Multiply those two and add them all together. That's what that big E is, the sum of. Then we divide that by the square root of all those observed differences squared summed up, multiplied by each other. Loosely, it's useful to know what all that is. If you're going to explore this in your maths exploration, in your IA, it's probably a nice thing to do, is to do one example, fully worked out, to show you've explored the maths. But pretty much the whole time, we actually don't need to use this. That's only if you're doing your exploration and you want to go in depth. We'll use the calculator. As long as we understand what those R values tell us, that's most important here, okay? So, it tells us how strong the correlation is. So, our correlation here, yeah, there's a fairly strong, what can we say? It's, well, we've got 0 0.84. So, we're going to say it's a moderate positive correlation. And as you can see, this diagram is pretty close to what R's look like. Um, and if we draw that line perfectly there, I click the draw button, and you can see there's our... Um, our line and yeah the points are pretty close but it's not it's certainly not perfect but it's 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 okay it's a moderate positive correlation we've got there uh, and yeah there we get the regression line we've got 
uh, Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. And all of that is calculated very easy. So let's just go back how we do it. We press menu, press number two for statistics. So we're dealing with statistics here. Uh, we then, you will find yourself uh, at uh, the uh, table here. Enter two, val two variables into your table, as many as you, you have. And then you click graph one. And then we're gonna calculate some statistics, calc. And then it's that dark X there, that is linear regression. Uh, and you can decide if you want your um, line of best fit, your linear regression in Y equals AX plus B, or Y equals A plus BX. Generally, A plus BX is more commonly known because it lets us know the point where we start on the Y axis, but either one is fine. And yeah, there we go. That is, uh, some stuff on bivariate, uh, bivariate data on the GDC.